All right, guys, I got a really quick tip for you today. This tip's going to help us focus in on our low end. Uh, if we're having any trouble or we're doubting the kick and bass in relation to each other or the amount of bass or sub that our track has, this uh, little trick that we can do will help us focus in on that and maybe help set us on the right path and give us some ideas for the next steps of our processing or level adjustments that we want to make on our kick and bass. So let's jump right into Cubase. We're going to take a look at that tip. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Killian, AKA Nalik, and I'm making these videos um, to help you guys improve your psychedelic trance and electronic music production. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be posting more content like this. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a cool tip. So without further ado, let's jump right into Cubase. We're gonna take a listen to a new track that I'm working on. And then we're going to set up this little trick and kind of use a reference track that's going to help us know um, if we need to make some adjustments and levels and uh, maybe some new processing decisions. It'll give us some ideas in which direction we want to take our kick and bass. So let's jump right into this project over here. And we're going to listen to a little loop that I've set up here. Actually, we'll listen to little section here and then we're going to go back to this loop because I've loudness matched this loop to my reference track. So here's the track. So you need to import a reference track that you really like and ideally it's in the same style of kick and bass because if not you're going to kind of try and reinvent, reinvent your kick and bass at the last minute and obviously you want to have um, a reference track in the same style and BPM helps. So I've loudness matched this using a M loudness meter here, oops sorry, M loudness meter here. You can use a VU meter, doesn't really matter. But uh, we'll see, we're at like 6.9-ish. Cool. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put an EQ on our stereo out or our master channel here. We're going to put it into linear phase mode. And we'll set it to something like 48 dB per octave. Then we're going to filter out everything above 400. So we're going to be able to focus in on the low end. We can go a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on what area of the kick and bass you're doubting or you want to focus in on. I'm going at 400 because it'll give me a bit of an overall um, idea of kind of what's going on in the bass and the kick all the way up to kind of the, you know, mid range of, of the track. Oops, sorry. So First thing I noticed when comparing to listening to it filtered is that mine is a lot more kick driven. So maybe I need to pull the level of my kick back. And I also noticed that the other one's bass is kind of more mid range or the reference track, sorry, I should say is a little bit more mid range focused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up to my kick and bass at the top of my project here. I've made a duplicate of my kick and bass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and start by lowering this level of my kick while still listening to it filtered so that it's a little bit less kick driven, more similar to the reference track. Thank you. 
right, so it sounds like it might be a little bit better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my base here. We can see I've already got a Saturn. So maybe I'm going to adjust this mid band, but maybe I'm also just going to try and push it. Let's just try and push it, see what happens first. And then maybe we can adjust it so that it covers a bit of a wider uh, range of mid frequencies. So, or wider range of frequencies for the middle band, I should say. So I shouldn't have closed it. So here we have Saturn. Right, so now let's compare that again with the reference track. So of course it's a different kick and bass, so it's not going to sound exactly the same, but let's compare that by just muting and unmuting the um, original bass. So I made a duplicate before I started doing all these changes. Now I'm just going to mute between the two and see if it um, sounds better. So let's compare that with uh, out the EQ. We'll just take the EQ off here. This is the original, and then I'll go to the new one. So I think that's a much better bass. Um, it obviously sounds closer to the reference track. Um, but the main thing is kind of do your own thing. Don't try and make it exactly the same as the reference track. You're never going to get that, but let it point you in the right direction and let it give you um, an idea of just like kind of, should it have more mid? Should it have more bass? Should it have um, kind of a, a different volume between the two? And use it to help point you in the right direction. But don't try and make it identical because you're going to always just continue ending chasing your bass. Um, but filtering it out will give you a nice, um, more focused range. And another thing you can do is if you're more concerned with the sub frequency, for example, we can do the same thing, put it into linear phase again. But now let's say we focus like everything below like 80. So 
so we can also see on the analyzer here that there's clearly um, a larger dip starting at 20. So you might want to think about adding a high pass, for example. So this will give you another kind of um, point of reference for your sub frequency. So you can use this and adjust the frequency based on what area you need to um, listen to and reference. And if this tip was useful, please consider giving me a like and subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more content like that soon. And I got some cool updates coming for everybody soon. If you guys are following me for Psytrance production and you guys want to have some really cool samples, uh, presets, I've got some cool stuff coming. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.